Hello and welcome back to Productive Dragons channel where we do unboxes, plan with me's and other things. And if you like that, please consider subscribing. Today we got our unbottomable book club in. Want to see what's inside? Come join me. Unbottomable book club is a horror book collection. Uh, excuse me, books <laughs> from the UK. I get the bare bones where there is two books and a used book. I am on a six month thing for them. Uh, I don't remember when this is going to renew. I might have to skip the renewal just once, but I do, I've been enjoying these. You will also get bookmarks with this. I do not get the other one because it comes with food and whatnot. And I'm like, eh, I don't need that. <laughs> so this should be the January, 2024. The used book is always nicely, nicely, all right, we have a letter, here we go, whoops, there is a signature, here's the bottom of book club, and the little story on the back, we have a letter from this person which is Haley Piper a light most hateful hmm. okay if I'm not mistaken I have read one of her books let's see if we have an author in here real quick sorry yes Queen of Teeth that's the one I read by her and I did enjoy it so this is going to be great and it's been like LaRoche did a little blurb Yay! <laughs> Three years after running away from home, Olivia is stuck with a dead-end job in Nowhere Town, Chapel Hill, Pennsylvania. At least she has her best friend, Sunflower. Olivia figures she'll die in Chapel Hill, if not from boredom, then the summer night storms which crash into town with a mind-bending monster in tow. If Olivia's going to escape Chapel Hill and someday reconcile with her parents she's going to need to dodge residents enslaved by the storms otherworldly power powers and find sunflower but as the night strains friendship and reality itself olivia suspects the storm and its monster may have its eyes on sunflower and everything she loves including olivia oh and clay mcleod chapman also did a blurb oh this is cool Oh, I will definitely like this one. <laughs> so, she gave us a little letter, which I'm not going to read. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that one was for this one. So, there we go. Next book is Garth. Oh, I'm going to mispronounce this man's last name, so I'm not going to do that. Terror Tome. Curl up with this book and die. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right. When horror writer Nick Steen gets sucked into a cursive typewriter by the terrifying typeface, Dark Lord of the Prof Proflex, the hellish visions inside his head are re unleashed for real. Forced to fight his escaping imagination now leaking out, on, out of his own brain. Nick must defend the town of Stockford, from his own fictional horrors, including a serial killer, Nelson Strain, and Nick's dreaded doppel throppelganger, the thir Dark Third. Can he and Ross, his frequent incorrect female editor, hunt down the <laughs> incarnation denizens of Nick's ramping enigmas before they destroy Stockford out to Starford and possibly slight further okay that's uh okay <laughs> that's definitely okay we do not have a picture of the author but okay that's a wild one <laughs> all right so let's do this all right let's get us a pair of scissors real quick there we go I don't know what we're getting. And this week, 
Nathaniel Hawthorne, the house of seven gables of the, excuse me, the house of the seven gables. Oh, huh. built on land taken from dead wizard, the Cycrons seven gable mansion was the focus for two centuries secrets and legends, legends of hauntings and underlying undying curses, secrets of madness and misfortunes age and poverty now claim the house and its residents old reclusive miss hepzibah her strange troubled brother clifford and the mysterious young artist holygrave then suddenly the house was transformed by arrival of the pensionant's beautiful young cousin phoebe she brought life laughter and love into this tiny world of dust dark and despair but one rich, powerful, corrupt man, Judge Jaffrey Pinion, covets the man mansion's hidden secret, and his plot to find them meant destroying all hope and happiness in the House of the Seven Gables. Okay, I don't think we're going to have a author in here. No. All right. And this was written in, if I can find it, 1988. Okay. Interesting. Complete and unabridged. Okay, so there's an abridged version out there. Well, that would be interesting. Okay, so here was the used book. Then here's the other two books we got. And ah, there, <laughs> the bookmark. What did I think? I loved it. Um, I've read one of hers only because of a book club. And this one just was like, what? <laughs> so this should be interesting. What did you think of the selection? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video. And until next time, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day.